Super Dean here, and welcome back to the council. When we left off, well, when we left off, I'd slightly messed up about getting a letter. There's a good thing and a bad thing about that. Uh, the bad thing was I didn't get the letter. The good thing is I'm locked up on the save. So, I don't know what I did, but I've lost the save, so I've had to do the first bit again. And doing the first bit again, I thought, why not get the letter? So, I've actually gone and <laughs> done it properly, and I've now got the letter from the last bit where I didn't get it. And apparently the letter is for the mum. It's to stop all, apparently... Oh, what was happening? It was something in Rome. All these bishops and priests and stuff were about to be hung and guillotined and stuff. And your mum saved them. And it's just another list of these other people now are being strung up and stuff. Anyway, so we've got the letter. Doing really well. And we are now going to go talk to these two at the chimney, apparently. I've realised one thing. Can I change it quick? Just give me a second. Uh... Because the bar, annoyingly, is right in the way of the objectives bit. So there we go. That's better I can see now. Go back to the group near the chimney. I thought my chimney was big, but this one is beyond belief. It's the least one can say. I've been longing for a warm fire for ages. I suppose you really dress me as outside. Since I foot on the island, I haven't ventured more than two yards away from it. Have you also just arrived? Oh, late morning, I'd say. Louis, come join us. Okay. Monsieur, may I introduce you to Monseigneur His Eminence, Cardinal Piaggi? He joins us straight Cardinal from Rome. Cardinal Piaggi? Okay. Or oh, just call me Your Eminence. It's simpler. George Washington, President of the... George United Washington? Of what? America. I knew there was history. Delighted at last to make your acquaintance, Mr. President. What the Pleased hell? Nice to meet you, Mr. President. Louis Moras de Richer. It is an honor to meet you. Young man, let's keep it simple, please. Let us forget our fancy titles. Nice to meet you, Louis. I should imagine you never thought you'd be in such company. I must admit that I didn't. It's the first time that I've ever met so many illustrious personalities. And you haven't seen anything yet. Generally, when Lord Mortimer organizes one of his receptions, there are over a dozen people here. They mm. can't all be here yet. I know it's how he's always see, looking at her. Most of the time, there's only the upper crust. Ah, uh, Louis is a bit of a... And hey, hey. I noticed you were already getting to know his eminence at the entrance. It's the perfect place to build up a network. If you say so. What were you talking about, if you forgive my indiscretion? At the risk of disappointing you, we weren't conspiring in our corner, sir. His eminence was simply telling me that he knew my mother and how much he held her in high esteem. It so happens that Monsieur de Riche's mother is to join us. Oh, pity. No scrumptious gossip or juicy tidbits, no. unmentionable secrets, or even money matters. No. But you'll see, it will come. Despite all the goodwill in the world, you can't stop people scheming left and right around oh, here. Speak for yourself, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Well, my I, friends, don't, I, I didn't get the laugh. Do why? Any of you know the reason why we're here this time? Not in the slightest. We were As invited. Me, I've been invited by Sir Horn, a close friend of Lord de Mortimer, but uh, I do not know the reason why. You see, Louis, every time Lord Mortimer organizes a reception, he always finds a moment to set up a chat with all the guests. During okay. which time we remake the world. Accompanied by gallons of absinthe and cussing. I'll leave you to imagine the result. Oh, I bet. So, yeah, we if I understand rightly, Monsieur de Richer, you've come out here to join your mother. For what reason, exactly? Ooh. Like you, Mr. President, I'm here as a result of Lord Mortimer's invitation. Two members of the same family here. That is rare. It is. You know what they say. You can pick your nose, but you can't pick your family. <laughs> <laughs> no. Seriously, though, I know your mother well. Stay behind with me afterwards, and we'll take a moment to speak about her. Okay. Mr. Uh. Oh, Good a... Lord. Washington is wearing the emblem of the Grand Master of the Golden Order. It's the highest distinction of the order in the United States. It puts him on par with my mother. He must really know his stuff when it comes to the occult. Mm, I'm a detective. <clears throat> We're a detective. Good evening, oh. my friends. Oh, who's this? Holy shit. That's the man for my vision. 
An urgent case has delayed our host, Lord Mortimer. You're he can't looking be weird. present this evening, and he sends his deepest apologies. Who are you He's asked me here and he hasn't even turned up? Great start. Do you know that man? Sir Gregory Holm, an English ah. aristocrat. Very influential. He's also close to Lord Mortimer. So don't be surprised if he acts like he's at home. Okay. And now, my dear guests, a light meal is served in the small salon. For those small who would salon. like to, you're invited to follow me into the next room. My dear fellow, you must have read my thoughts. I shall follow. We'll have to be careful not to make too much noise. One of Lord Mortimer's guests is relaxing. Oh, we shall be quiet. Don't take it the wrong way, Sir Holm, but I have already eaten. Thus, I shall be happy to remain by the fireside. By the fireside. If you don't mind, Gregory, I should like to keep Mr. Washington company. Please feel at home. And you, sir? If I stay with Washington, we'll be able to speak about my mother. Ooh. But on the other hand, I'd like to learn more about this home. I saw him in my vision. Uh, ah, ah. We'll find him later. We'll find him later. Let's see what Washington has to say. Sir, if you don't mind... I shall stay here. Do exactly as you please, young man. Will do. Louis, thank you for staying. Just like you, when I arrived this morning, I found Cheap. out that Sarah had gone Anyone? missing. I know your mother well. You get cheap with everything, don't, don't you? Don't worry. Emily is from the English branch of the Golden Order. Oh. And President Washington is in fact the leader of the Order in the United States. I, I didn't know. Sorry to have made you wait, but I didn't want to speak in front of the others. You did okay. well. Secrecy and discretion are the pillars of our organization. Mm -hmm. If I can help in any way at all, please don't hesitate to ask, my lad. And if you have any other questions, now's the time. Oh. And you, Emily. What do you think of my mother? I only know her through the Order. The one time we met, we only exchanged a few words in a corridor of Parliament. And was the exchange courteous or impassioned? I'm not sure if I understand. Was there any reason for her to be angry with you? Under other circumstances, I would slap your face for even asking. But I'll put your lack of tact down to her disappearance. Oh, okay. Know Sorry. that your mother is a woman I would love to work with. Her reputation is entirely deserved. Mr. Washington will be able to tell you more. Mr. Washington, you seem to be very familiar with my mother. Hmm, maybe they've been a bit of a... Hey, hey, hey. Yeah. When did you last speak to her? Philadelphia, 15 years ago. Oh, that was a bad choice. Sarah often went back and forth between France and the United States. Yes, I remember those days. I didn't see her too often. Right. Would it be too much if I asked you a few more questions? Not at all. Go ahead. But I can't promise I'll remember everything. Yeah. May I ask, when you saw each other, <clears throat> what did you talk about? Ah. My mother has always been fascinated by strange powers. Did she talk to you about anything like that? Yes. Her facility for discerning truths from rumor served me well. Such as preventing massacres, like the one at Salem, from happening again. Or convincing okay. people that horsemen cannot ride around without heads. <laughs> what was it that she used to say now? Keep an open and logical mind? Yes, that's it. Yes, Thank that's you, sir. It. I was hoping to speak hey. with Lord Mortimer. At least now I have some information, thanks to you. I repeat, Lord Mortimer is a man of his word. You won't be disappointed. And I am persuaded that your mother's research is his main concern. Research? I wonder if mother is still on the island. Could she not have taken a boat and left? I don't see how. No vessel can moor closer than 200 yards. Not to mention the permanent presence of staff and servants. Mm. There is one strange thing, I grant you. This island is barely the size of Delaware, and despite that, no one has been able to locate your mother. 
So my mother plug. still must be on the island. But I did find a book that belongs to my mother. Where did you find it? That's what worries me. I found it hidden on the wharf. Do you think she was preparing to discreetly leave? Maybe. I don't know. An extremely likely proposition. Mm. I'll believe it when I see it. Don't worry, Louis. I'm mm. sure nothing bad has happened to her. Wait, yes, I, I hope not. Well, from that vision we saw of her missing her hand. Careful, they're coming back. Okay, everything okay? What's up? Who is that? Well, I am impressed with all this splendor. But don't spend too much time with Mr. Washington, my dear, or you'll lose your pretty accent. You <laughs> 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 should be intrigued by that statue. Absolutely. It is remarkable. Lord Mortimer is fond of atypical works of art. I won't disguise the fact that I find it all a little megalomaniacal. But I must say, he does have some outstanding pieces. Mm, so, oh, who was that young lady with you? Opportunity missed. Elizabeth what, what, what? Adams, Mr. President. She would have liked to have stayed with us, but the poor thing is exhausted. Elizabeth Adams? Ooh, okay. Just mentioning Elizabeth totally changed Washington's attitude. Okay. It looks like he just saw a ghost. Miss <clears> Adams <throat> is here to rest. You have perhaps already come across her in the corridors. She arrived a few days ago. I yeah. perceived her, but we weren't introduced. Rest assured, she is not here for the same reasons as yourselves. Consequently, I'm counting on your indulgence. Okay. Washington looks surprised, but Holm doesn't seem to see it. I wonder if he's being polite or if he really doesn't see his discomfort. It's got weird look at that weird. On that note, it's very late. You must be exhausted. The servant will accompany you to your room. Not the servant, just the one. There's only one of him though, how are we gonna do it? It's just one at a time. One at a time we go to that room. Elizabeth Adams. Oh no, she is. It's your room, sir. This is your room. Ladies, gentlemen, I bid you all good night. Mr. Okay. President, Your Eminence, Duchess, you have the same rooms as usual. Oh, okay. You, Monsieur de Richet, will find your room at the end of the corridor. Thank you, sir. Well, my <clears> friends, <throat> I am born tired. I am off to my bed. See you in the morning. Good night, sir. I shall do likewise. Louis, I shall see you in the morning. Sleep well. Good night. See you tomorrow. If you're still alive. Oh, man. It's been quite a day. Right. Where is my room? Can we barge in? Ooh, do we dare? No, no, no. And we can't go to it. Okay, it's locked. Is it this way? I said Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon? Oh my god, Napoleon's here. Sir Jacques Perrou? Jacques Perrou? I recognize that name. A few leaves out of an old encyclopedia. Oh, it's Golden Elixir. Cause all your negative. Can I call more than five? Okay. Nice, I'm fine. let's find some stuff. Ooh, ooh, camera's going crazy. I'm guessing... No, can't go down. Decorum guy. Decor... Rules for behavior. Ah, oh, maybe when you get to your room, obviously, you can sit in bed and read a book. Oh, okay, that makes more sense. Looking for little... Blue dots. Oh, there's something there. Can't go up there. <laughs> hmm. 
Anything else around? God, the camera's a bit sort of... Hangs on a bit. Nope, I'll go that way. Sweet. Definitely gone a long way around about this. <laughs> oh, An old sister say from Roman Call. Oh. We are finding so much stuff. President George Washington. Mm. Look at that dope. Roll oh, jelly! Hmm, we like our jelly. Monsignor, his eminence Cardinal Piaggi. Huh, that's me. Oh, that's me. <laughs> So we found our room at least. Missing anything down here, just quick. Just keep looking, just keep looking, just keep looking. Who's this room? Duke Manuel Godoy. I wonder who he is then. Right, let's go to our room. That's a fancy room! Right. But what shall I do with this letter? Oh. It might be about my mother's disappearance. Mm. But if I open it, I'll be betraying Biagi's trust. What should I do? Ah, oh, open the letter without breaking the seal. That would have been helpful. Damn. Uh. No, I'm not going to break his trust. I can't wait to open it, but I gave my word to Piaggi, so... Yeah. Too bad. I'll wait until I hand it to Mother. Wow. Nice room. Mortimer sure doesn't do things halfway. Yeah. Oh. Gives you the focus state. Your next skill used will cost no effort. Oh, okay. Saint Jerome and the Angel. Yet again, Saturn devouring his son. Again? Whoa. I saw the same theme in the hall. Saint Francis of Assisi in ecstasy. Before superior voices. It always amuses me to see how art gets used for propaganda purposes. Damn it! Oh, open the balcony. That's a nice view. Oh, that's a cover your decency there, statue. Go to bed. No, I'm not going to bed. I'm going to go. Have a good look around before we go to bed. Make sure we're not missing. Anything. Aha, see? Some more collector's coins. No idea what these do. Can I go in there? Oh! Oh, is it the bed? Oh, nah. I thought I was sneaking in someone's room then. Some interesting pajamas you've got there, mate. Another weird. I find that weird. I don't even think I've been sleeping at You've got those weird kind of paintings on the wall, the wall and stuff. Oh, what did we fail? Oh. Episode 1. Oh, that's just episode 1. I could have had made an unexpected encounter. Oh, so if I'd gone to see... Oh. At least I didn't fail anything. Four points available. Damn. I can't. Can I? 
Oh, I can. I'm a bit confused, really. So I can level these up, but I can also level these ones up. Too. I don't bloody well know. Oh, this comes in handy. Hey, we leveled that one up. Nice. Oh, so that means they're already level one. These are all level none, so skill not acquired yet. So I've got to unlock them. By doing skills. Oh, that makes more sense now. So that one. Oh, okay. Oops. Get you unlocked as well, then, shall we? So that's two unlocked in there. Ah, that makes sense now. Yeah, okay. Crypting manuscripts. You choose what to read during the adventure. Each manuscript you can read. One manuscript, okay. Cannot be equipped. Assemble the pages in the manuscript you want to read. God damn it! Um, I think we'll go for science, shall we? That's it, so are we on episode two? Oh, no, we're dreaming. Ah! Into the eye. Whoa. Oh, hello. What's going on here? Who's that? Oh. Your turn? I'm a servant, am I? The servants are not very efficient. Durache can't be far away. They'll find her soon. Their Ooh. search time is restricted given that they must keep an eye on Adams. I can take care of her, you know. Yes. Well, in any case, I do thank you for bringing her to the island. From what I've understood, the search of Durache's room hasn't turned up any results. Not yet, no. But we've put her son in there. Perhaps he'll find something. Mm. Ooh. That might come in handy. Louis grows impatient at not <clears throat> yet having met the famous Lord Mortimer. He will meet him tomorrow. Ooh. Okay. Oh, what a pity to lose a knight at the start of the game. Sacrifices. Are you waiting for someone? A young French soldier. During our game of chess? Don't worry, Gregory. The game won't disappear. Who's he? I'll have one of my men escort you back. Who are you? Don't Is this the Duke? Himself? I know my way out. Ah, good evening, gentlemen. Please forgive me for this late hour. This it is Napoleon. never too late. And we have much to discuss. Was Napoleon and George Washington around move? at the same time? I don't need to. Oh. Don't that was worry. Rude. Our games always seem to end like this. Or always start like this. Come, come. Take a seat, my friend. Oh, talking to Napoleon. Napoleon. So obviously we're appearing in the servant's body. Oh, it's pretty. Washington. It's so freaky that, George. A little nighttime stroll, Mr. President. There's nothing like it for a good night's sleep. Do not hesitate to ask a servant to show you back. No. The corridors seem quite safe. That seems a bit dodgy. Peppermint, lime flower, and valerian. My miracle remedy when one can't get to sleep. A very good night to you, Mr. President. 
Thank you. And to you too, sir. Seems a bit dodgy there. Dressed? Oh, we do get dressed. Oh. Dear Monsieur de Richet, please excuse me, but. Mm. Circle shaped key. I'm coming, I'm coming. The middle of the night. Excuse me. Am I bothering you? Yes, you are. No, not in the least. Is something wrong? I'm going to need your help. Okay. Do you remember the young lady we spoke of in the hall? Yes. Elizabeth Adams. Home introduced her to us. Yes. Well, mm. she is the daughter of my friend, the Vice President, John Adams. Mm. But she is supposed to be dead. Yeah, that's bizarre. Fair enough. Good heavens! I was present at her funeral. It is disturbing indeed. Yes. I need to make sure it's her. That's where you come in. Oh dear. I want you to distract Elizabeth while I search her room. And perhaps get my hands on some important information. At least I hope so. Elizabeth is in the small salon. If you hurry, you can still catch her. Okay. I just need ten minutes. But if my vision is true, there are two men nearby discussing very important issues, and one of them looks much like Mortimer. Washington is very kind, but I came to this island for my mother, not for his ghost story. But this could be. Uh, Count on me, uh, sir. Thank you, my friend. Keep Elizabeth downstairs as long as possible. She must not return to her room. Trust me. Trust me, trust in me. Oh, gee, for this day. According to Washington, Lady Adams is in the small salon. I better hurry. This way? There we go. Uh oh, someone's being nosy. My son, oh, you are a godsend. What's the matter, your eminence? I believe that Miss Adams may be in danger. What do you mean? Do you hear that? She is being manhandled in this small salon. By whom? I don't know exactly. Uh, a thug, a Frenchman, it seems. Uh -oh. cut up his cloth, I'd say he's a member of the French Revolutionary Government. You should do something, my son. Shit. I was supposed to make sure Adams wouldn't go back to her room. Don't worry, Your Eminence. I'll take care of it. Probably nothing to worry about. Do you want me to call for help? Please don't do anything. I'm sure with a little goodwill, everything will work out fine. Don't go and wake up the whole manor, please. Thank you, my son. May God watch over you. What is going on in here? Who do you think you Forget are? Multiple paths, a multiple paths to reach your objectives. Maybe a good idea to think twice before embarking on the first path that comes to you. You come to. Oh, nice. Me, sir. If we were in France, I'd have sent you to the guillotine for what you just said. Please, Who's this? Just let me go back to my room. <laughs> hey, you. Stay out of it. This is none of your business. Okay. I'm going to teach this little slut how to behave. What the hell is going on? Huh? I don't think you know who I am. Stop. I beg you. I, I didn't mean to. Don't hit me, please, sir. Shit. Uh, if I step in, Adams might just run back uh, to her room. And if I do nothing, yes, Washington will have enough time to search, but this girl's uh, going to suffer. Damn it. What should I do? Uh, uh, let her go. Huh? Stay out of it, boy. Shit. What are you playing at? I told you to mind your own business, boy. Oh, if you think you can side with this whore and then just walk away, you're out of your mind. 
Give me one good reason not to knock you down. You're not back in your slum now. You're in Lord Mortimer's home. I suggest you think carefully about what you're going to do. Don't think you're getting away with it that easily. Oh, that was a good choice, I'm damn. sick of all these toffs. If we were in Paris, I'd send you all to the guillotine. And on Who top of it all, a woman telling me how I ought to behave? I won't stand for it. Oh, okay, okay, wait a minute. What? Don't tell me you're gonna defend these harlots. <laughs> uh, women, right? They really do drive us crazy sometimes. I totally understand. Yeah, and every time they open their mouths, it makes you want to nice. slap them. I get the feeling you're trying to put one over on me. If that's the case, you're making a big mistake. Sorry about that. Look, there's no point in us aggravating each other. Let's both just go our separate ways. Don't move. We're not done yet. Okay. You wanted to be the knight in shining armor and save the damsel in distress. No, I'm just doing it my Let's thing, see man. how brave you are. Whoa, okay. Think about it. You know your head will roll tomorrow if you shoot. Wanna bet? Sure do. I'm not in the habit of beating Lord Mortimer's oh, guest in his you. own salon. You got off easy this time, but don't try it again. Hey, we did it. Uh, what's in the again? Over here. The brooch Elizabeth was wearing. Huh. She was so frightened she was unaware that she'd lost it. Yeah, well, it didn't seem to do her much good. So, what happened there with George? Did she get back to George in time? Anything else in here that could search quick before. Ah, <laughs> some more jitter. Over here, too. There's a Darling. pattern with five circles on this chest. The Chronicles of the Amber mm -hmm. Princes. As I recall, Dorkin was my favorite character. Anything else in here, Pinch? <laughs> she went this way, didn't we? She's gonna go this way to follow. Ah, messing it up, messing it up, messing it up. Messing Lady Adams must have locked it behind her when she fled. No, oh, god damn it. Bing. Uh oh. Was you caught? Well, did you get time to search the room? Louis, I only needed ten minutes. Imagine the scandal if she had found me. What would you have done in my shoes? She was in the middle of an argument with some angry guy. Ten minutes. I didn't ask for the moon. Oh, God. Nonetheless, you found what you were looking for, didn't you? Not everything, but yes. Elizabeth is definitely the daughter of John Adams. <sighs> we need more information. You can always go back. It's too late now. How is it too late now? Oh, go back to bed. I just stopped my thing for you, yum. Elixir. Right, unfortunately, let's just pick these little bits up. Don't get up. I need to end it there. Yeah, not doing too, not doing too bad, not doing too good, I think. Really. The lives of the noble Greeks and Romans oh, by dear. Plutarch. A biography of the great men. Get the book. <laughs> Yoink! Right. So, I thought I was going to end it there for now. But yeah, uh, I think we're doing okay, maybe. I don't know if we're going to be getting a few wrong choices and stuff, but never mind. We shall find out in the next video. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Super Dean, out!